on today's episode, we're going to talk about the importance of setting goals. Hey, what's up guys? Cam here. And today we're going to talk about the importance of setting goals. Now, the reason you want to set goals is really simple because it gives you a greater sense of purpose. Now, as I've talked a lot about in different videos, one of the main reasons why you game is because it fulfills that sense of purpose. You have a mission to go on, you have a boss to defeat, you have a level to get. And in that structured way of, of playing these games, it gives you that sense of purpose. You actually have a reason to be playing. Now what happens is after you quit, you no longer feel that same sense of purpose. Now you might even take a good step, which I talk about, which is finding some new activities, but the mistake that we make, and so many of us in this community make this mistake, is that we just start filling our time with these different activities instead of being very intentional with what the activities are and giving ourselves the reasons why we want to do them, which is where goal setting comes in. So I know growing up, you know, when I heard about goal setting in school, I thought it was kind of lame. And I just want to kind of mention that quickly because goal setting is actually really cool and it's something where really the whole point behind it is just to set intention of why you're doing what you're doing. And if you watch my video on how to find your purpose, what you'll learn is that when you have a sense of purpose behind something, you have more motivation because you actually have a reason why you're doing it instead of just doing it for no reason, which then you end up justifying doing something else. So what I want to share today is first, if you have chosen new activities to do instead of game, make sure that you set a goal for each of them. That will give you a greater sense of purpose. And now I want to walk you through a couple different steps that you can take to set good goals. Because there's a very big difference between setting a goal of like just learning a new language versus using this formula SMDA, which stands for being specific, being measurable, having a deadline, and having accountability, which are four pillars of goal setting that make a huge, huge difference. So I'm just gonna go through them really quick. An example of being specific is saying, I want to learn how to play guitar versus I want to learn these specific songs on the guitar. Those two goals are going to give you a very different experience when you're pursuing it. Measurable, you want to have your goals be measurable. You actually want to know if you can be making progress on them, ideally being able to see progress daily. So an example here is again, if you have specific songs you wanna learn, you're able to see how much closer are you today to being able to play, say, even one of those songs than you were yesterday. I'm standing near the airport, so there's planes flying by, ready? Check this out. San Diego problems. You wanna have a deadline. A deadline gives you a very specific time that you need to accomplish the goal by. This is why even though you'll procrastinate on doing your homework or studying for the test and you'll be gaming, you know, any of that stuff, when it comes time to get it done the night before, you tend to figure that out and get it done because you have a deadline. So same thing with your goals. You need to have a deadline. That gives you specific accountability with your time. And the last pillar is accountability. And having someone holding you accountable to pursuing these goals or working on them makes a huge difference. And one of the easiest ways to find accountability is you can actually join us on the Game Quarters Forum and actually sign up for an accountability partner. This is someone who you two will work together to help each other out, support each other, give feedback, give encouragement, and hold each other accountable to going after and pursuing your different goals. So use this formula. What are the new activities that you've chosen to do instead of game, and how can you turn those in to goals? A couple examples for me, when I first quit gaming, I started to learn how to DJ, and what I decided to do was to launch a podcast where every single month I had to put out a one hour mix full of different songs that I liked. And I had to release this publicly. So in the process, I had to choose songs that would go for an entire hour. 
I had to put it together, I had to record it, and I had to release it publicly by the end of the month. And I was doing it with a couple different friends, so we had accountability in there too. Now, throughout the month, I was able to see my progress. How much closer was I to getting it done? What else did I need to finish? I had a deadline, I had accountability, and it was something specific. It was a one hour mix. So that helped me you know, be able to brainstorm different ideas, find different songs, put them together. And then every day when I went to DJ, I actually had a very specific reason why I was DJing instead of I was just trying to kill time by DJing instead of killing time with gaming, which that's the area where you can get very caught up in justifying gaming because, hey, it's not really any worse than just sitting around DJing or watching TV or reading books. And when you have goals, it gives you a lot more motivation and a specific reason why you want to do it. So if you want to learn a new language, what level do you want to get to? Maybe you want to travel to the country and be able to speak to a certain level. If you're learning a new instrument, what songs do you want to learn? You know, for me right now, I'm learning surfing. And if I want to take that to a whole different level, I would say, you know, I'm going to enter a competition in six months and I need to learn how to get there. So definitely make sure that you guys are setting goals with each activity that you have. That will make a huge difference. And it's a lot of fun when you accomplish goals, you feel that sense of progress, you feel that sense of growth, you get that sense of confidence in yourself because you actually followed through and got it done instead of just procrastinating. So I think goal setting is really great. It's something I do all the time and I encourage you guys to do too. So I hope that helps you guys out. And if it does, make sure you hit thumbs up because when you hit thumbs up, Here's another plane. Because when you hit thumbs up, it helps the algorithm in YouTube be able to show our videos more. So that helps a lot. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're really close to 2,000 subscribers. And leave a comment. What's one goal that you're gonna set for the next month, two months, three months, six months? What about this year? What's a goal that you're pursuing? Leave it in the comments below and make sure that you use that formula that I outlined for you when you comment. So that's it for me today, guys. Hope you guys are having a great week and I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.